one of the main part of our special set for disassembly and assembly of any type of common rail injector is our special software. I want to show how it works. So we can open software, change the language, we can choose English and there is a list of Bosch injector 525 different type of injectors available now or we can choose Delphi or Denso injectors each injector on the list you can see part number application and nozzle type when you start there is information about design of injector about design of uh, solenoid control valve and information about addressing washers and step by step there is explanation how to remove control valve what tool is necessary to use uh, and how to measure armature st stroke what is control value what is uh, adapter how to do there is information about uh, minimum and maximum size of adjusting washer uh, we can measure first control caliper for example like that and second control caliper like this and software automatically calculates armature stroke and if it is out of uh, correct range it shows adjusting washer in precision and recommended adjusting washer so if we change washer to correct one result is perfect and then it shows how to assembly nozzle what is torque and what is angle for Delphi injectors uh, there are more information we can see part number of each internal components of injector also information about design how to use our clamping device how to install Delphi injector to our device step by step then disassembly procedure what tool to use uh, how to remove all parts what is nozzle part number what kind of um, control is necessary what is adapter plate part number control valve part number how to remove adjusting pin how to remove and check solenoid what kind of problem can be inside of uh, injector body with solenoid and with its connector and then reassembly procedure step by step with part number of each component wrong position of adjusting pin correct position of adjusting pin actuator spring part number difference in design of control valve and part number of correct control valve for this injector 
uh, what is important uh, uh, about adapter plate why it is important to choose correct part number of adapter plate and then injector spring nozzle nozzle cup nut lock it with loctite and then how to tighten the nozzle, which torque and which angle to use and very important information about selling washer for all type of injector uh, normal external diameter is 13.7 millimeter but for new type of injector for example like this D5 1.5 selling washer part number is different of course design of injector also different there is information about design and step by step again disassembly and assembly procedure okay and selling washer external diameter is 12.3 millimeter so it is very important information if you use bigger diameter of selling washer there is serious risk to damage uh, the head of engine in the future not immediately but in the future can be problem and same for both we can see uh, internal component for each injector uh, we can open process for Bosch process is most complicated for example for most simple CRI1 injector there is 13 steps uh, first is just information about design of solenoid and 13 next steps is step by step how to assembly uh, and how to measure injector so all Bosch injectors uh, as you can see uh, we cut it and uh, master can see what is inside of injector step by step how to do all uh, operation or technology process there is information about part number of internal component and when we uh, assemble the injector <coughs> first we have to measure ball lift adjusting washer uh, size of this washer should be uh, between this range okay and then we have to install uh, nut but there is different design depends of injector part number and there is correct and wrong installation of nut and then we use torque wrench to tie this nut and then we can install magnetic gap washer and we can measure ball wall lift so we will measure ball wall lift with this tool and this is control value and we can use torque range to fixed adapter and measure for example if result like this it is out of range uh, imprecision of washer is like that and recommended 
size of washer is 1.183 millimeter. So we can go back, change washer and measure again. Okay, result is good. One, one micron is nothing. Next step, we can measure magnetic gap. This one is magnetic gap and this one is procedure, how we will do. And we will choose correct size of magnetic gap adjusting washer. This is control value and this is adapter. Okay. So we are checking first control caliper and then we are checking second control caliper. Okay. So if you wish you can change magnetic gap adjusting washer to get uh, exactly correct result but even now it is in the range and then we can uh, measure spring of armature then we can measure how deep is spring and length of armature shaft and at the end of this we can choose correct side of valve spring valve spring force adjusting washer and exactly the same we can see all information about all type of uh, injectors how to measure nozzle need lift what to do what is important what tool to use what is control volume also for CRI 2.2 same information here we have to measure not only magnetic gap and ball valve lift, also overstroke. We are showing what does it mean overstroke. Where is additional overstroke adjusting and locking washer. And how to do this operation. And exactly same information we are giving to user about CRIN track injectors. Master can see what is inside, what is necessary to measure and to adjust, and how to do this operation step by step. All detailed information are here so we have more than 1500 different pictures and this is like uh, training course not only information about part number about uh, control volume same information about new type of uh, CRIN injectors. What is inside? How to do? How to measure? And we have even information about specific CRIN injectors like Mitsubishi Counter, for example, CRI and 2L or 3L like this so it is very specific injector not easy to 
measure and not easy to adjust but we are also giving all detailed information how to do this operation even installation procedure of this injector is here and we are showing what is the difference in design how to do all operation and why uh, CRI N3L is different because uh, for CRI N2 injector nozzle needle diameter is 4 mm CRI N3 injector diameter is smaller 3.5 mm and this is different in spring sleeve but uh, nozzle needle lift measuring method is the same so this is our software for our special set for disassembling and assembling of common rail injector it is our one universal solution for all type of diesel workshops. Thank you for attention.